Good morning. 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 Hey there, Harvey Rachel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. Happy Tuesday morning to you all. Hey, Vaughn. Harvey Devon. Hey, Harvey Troy. Heartbeat Andrea, good morning to you guys. Hey, Heartbeat Anita, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Elaine and Heartbeat Donald, Heartbeat Belinda, Heartbeat Smitty, good morning to you guys. It's a bright Tuesday morning. Good Tuesday morning. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Good morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts by God Wants Me Whole. Hey there, Heartbeat Christine. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. And so this morning, we're going to continue on. So the daily dosage is my wholeness continues. My wholeness continues. Hey, Heartbeat Erica, my wholeness continues. And so, you know, earlier in the week, we talked about... Um, how you can buy a new house, you can go to a new neighborhood, but if you don't change your mindset, you take those old habits from the old neighborhood, from the old house to the new neighborhood and to the new house. And I told you guys that I wanted to challenge that theory that's always been said about, you know, you can take the girl out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of the girl. And so we got to, you know, about um, my wholeness starts today. And so now, now that we're in this journey of wholeness, now that we're receiving this wholeness, you know, that we, hey, Harvey Dane and Harvey Linda, we've got to now hold on to it. We've got to maintain it. So how many of us know that once we move into this brand new neighborhood, once we move into this brand new house, it's a lot of upkeep with the house. Hey, Harvey Juanita, it's upkeep with the house. You know, you got to... um keep the lawn manicured. You got to change the smoke detector. You know, you got to change filters. There are things that you have to do with keeping up with a house. And so we all know that. And so just like when you keep the lawn manicured, you're changing the batteries in the smoke detector, you're changing the filters. You know, these are things that seem so little, but unchecked causes so much trouble. And so with the smoke detector, let's start with the lawn. So with the lawn being manicured, what does that really mean when we're talking about, you know, what we're talking about, wholeness? It means that we have to stay in the word of God. Just like when we keep a lawn manicured, if we don't do it, weeds grow up. Well, it's the same thing in this journey of wholeness. If you don't keep that lawn manicured, if you don't stay in the word, that old you will try to peek you know, peek back in that old, you will try to come back that old, you with those bad habits will try to come back. And so in order to continue on in this wholeness, I've got to stay in the word. I've got to stay around people who are like-minded. I've got to do things that, um, change from my old um, habits to my new habits, which means, so now I'm listening to more word. Now I'm reading more word, the books that I'm reading, you know, I'm reading more self-help books so that I can stay on this journey of wholeness. Remember, I told you we've pulled all of that old stuff out. So even if you try to go back to some of those old habits, your brain is going to be like a computer and it's going to say syntax error. And so we've got to make sure that we keep that lawn manicured. Then when we think about the smoke detector that you have to take care of your house, you know, the saying where there's smoke, there's fire. So not changing batteries could cause our smoke detector detector to be inoperable, meaning we miss the alerts, we miss the signs, we miss the signals or the danger, the danger is lurking. We miss that the enemy has made an unauthorized entry back into our lives, which means I'm hanging around the wrong people. I'm saying the wrong words out of my mouth. I'm doing the wrong things. And just like that, the enemy has made an unauthorized entry back into my life. And so it's imperative that I make sure that I keep my, you know, that I change the batteries in my my smoke detector. What am I saying? That I stay in the spirit, that I make sure that I do things to keep me in the spirit, that I stay up here, that I don't come down here. Remember that I stay up in the sky like eagles. I don't hang out with the chickens. And so again, we're watching our circle because if we're not watching our circle, if we're hanging around the wrong people, we're saying the wrong things. We're hanging out at the wrong places. We're doing the wrong things. So somebody say this morning that my wholeness continues. See, it's imperative that we stay in the word. It's imperative 
imperative that we confess the right things because we're on this journey of wholeness. We started yesterday saying my, my wholeness starts today. So if my wholeness started on yesterday, now my wholeness has got to continue. I've got to keep walking on this journey. I cannot take an exit. I've got to keep moving so that I get everything that God has for me. I've got to keep moving so that I see what my true purpose is. I've got to keep moving so that I see the destiny that God has already prearranged for my life. Somebody say my wholeness continues. So now when we're talking about that filter, unchanged filters don't do what in our house? They cause the air to be polluted. So it's hard to breathe. It's hard to tap into the anointing when I don't change my filters. So once again, I'm watching what I see. I'm watching what I hear. I'm watching what goes you know, down in my heart because whatever's in my heart, that's what's going to come out of my mouth. And so now I've got to make sure that my filter is always clean. I've got to make sure that the air is always fresh around me because polluted air causes problems. It causes lung problems, which means I can't breathe, which means what? Now I'm depending on myself. I'm forgetting about that all grace and sufficiency is in God. And so I've got to make sure that that filter is clean because when that filter isn't clean, when I see images, when I hear words that don't line up with what I say, I can tend to agree with that. But when my filter is clean, I can do what 2 Corinthians 10, 5 says, casting down every thought, casting down every imagination that tries to exalt itself above the knowledge of God. When my filter is clean, I'm able to grab that thought and say, oh no, I don't think like that no more. I'm able to grab that thought and say, oh no, I don't go those places anymore. I'm able to grab that thought and say, no, I don't say those things anymore. Somebody say my wholeness continues. So in order to hold on to uh, my wholeness, I've got to watch what I let come into this new house. Remember, we talked about, we tore all of those things down. We tore the strongholds down. Remember, we walked up out of the ashes. We moved into a new neighborhood. We moved into a new house. And so now I've got to be careful of who I let come into my house. I've got to be careful of who I entertain. I've got to be careful of what I let in my inner circle because there's always somebody we all know that's somebody that always tries to remind you of your past and when that person does that you've got to remind that person that you don't live there anymore so how do I do that we're going back to what our foundation scripture that we talked about when we first started this Joshua 1 9 don't forget what I told you remember what I said don't be afraid that you've got to be dis- um, not be discouraged that you've got to walk into everything that God called you to walk into because he's already gone before you that he's always with you, that he's never going to leave you. So when I know this, now I'm able to continue on into my wholeness. So now what? My thoughts are now changing. Now I'm able to do exactly what God would have me to do. So remember, we were pouring new scriptures down into us because all of that old stuff is gone. So here's another scripture that we're adding into it. Philippians 1 6, the Amplified Classic says this, and I am convinced and sure of this very thing, that he who be Began a good work in you will continue until the day of Jesus Christ, right up to the time of his return, developing that good work and perfecting and bringing it to full completion in you. So what's happening now? Now that I know who I am, now that I've pulled down those strongholds, now that I've caught those thoughts and brought them under subjection, now that I'm into my wholeness, now that I've made a decision that I'm not exiting off, now I know that I can do these things because I know that God is perfecting me until the, to to the person that he wants me to be, that I'm not, that he's not going to stop until he sees what he saw on that very day when he created me till he sees what he saw. Remember yesterday we talked about before we were even in our mother's womb, that he knew us. He took us from nothing to something. So now I know that God is not going to stop until he see what he saw back on that day. So now I can be fully convinced convinced fully convinced. Remember, I don't have all of those bad thoughts anymore. I know that I'm valuable. I know that I'm worthy. So now I am convinced and sure of this very thing that he who began a good work in me, that he will finish it, that he will complete it. Philippians 4.13, and this is our last scripture for today. Philippians 4.13, the Amplified says this, I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. 
I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. What is this saying? I can now do all things. I'm not afraid. I'm not discouraged. I'm not scared. Why? Because I know that God has given me his grace. God, is my sufficiency is in him and he has told me that I can do all things. Remember, I'm not listening to those words that I heard when I grew up. I'm not even listening to my own thoughts. Only thing I know now is what has been now poured into me. So now this hardware up here, remember that we talked about what the brain does, that it integrates it and how it coordinates and all that. Remember we talked about that and then it lines up with what the word of God says. So now I know that I can do all things that sh- um, through Christ who strengthens me, which I can complete the task that God has called me to. I can open that business. I can start again. I said it. I can start again. Don't think that your life is over. I don't care how old you are. You can begin again. Sometimes we find out that in starting over, that's when we see the best us. Why? Because we're using that experience and that wisdom now that God has given us. It's going to come out better. The second time will be better. And so now I know I can do this thing. My age doesn't matter. My size doesn't matter. My my ethnic and ethnicity doesn't matter. I can do all things through Christ because he's strengthening me. He's prepared me for this. And I like how it says, it says him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. And so it's not about me. It's never been about me, but it's not about me. It's about me fulfilling the purpose that he placed me down here on earth to do. Somebody say my wholeness continues. So what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I'm going to continue on in this journey. I'm going to meditate on these scriptures, these new scriptures that God has given me, anytime thoughts come up to tell me that I can no, I'm relying on Philippians 4.13, that I can and I can do it until I fulfill the purpose that's on my life. So what am I now saying to myself? There is nothing that I can't do. Now, excuse me, that superhero in you has got to come out. That superhero in you is now being awakened because now you realize that you've got the power that you can do this thing. There is nothing stopping you, that you are unstoppable. Remember, we talked about some months ago about the lion and the lamb, and I told you guys to make some noise. So now it's time to roar. Now it's time to let that lion in you take charge. Now it's time for you to stop on the enemy's head. Why? Because my whole this continues. I realize who I am. I know I'm valuable. I know I'm worthy. I know God loves me. So now what? My Now my intellect is saying, go for it. Don't stop. Keep moving until I get it. That I want it all back. Everything that I didn't get because I thought I couldn't. Now I know that I can and I want it all back. And here's the good thing. It's not going to take a long time. Once you align yourself with God, once you align yourself with heaven, everything is coming your way. Now why? Because now you're walking in your purpose. Now you're walking in your destiny. Now you're doing what he saw you doing way back before you were in your mother's womb. Somebody say my wholeness continues. And this is a good thing when you're walking with God. Your wholeness just keeps continuing and continuing and continuing and continuing. It never stops. It never stops. As long as you are down here on this earth, you're going to continue to see God's favor. You're going to continue to see God blessings. You're going to continue to elevate in a different level of anointing. You're going to continue to get even more revelation of God's word. Why? Because you made a decision. You switched your brain to wholeness where there's nothing lacking, nothing missing, and nothing broken. Somebody say my wholeness continues. Hey family, hey nation, that is your daily dosage for today. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please go over there and do so. You can find all of your dosages right there in one place. Follow me on all social media platforms if God wants me whole. Make sure you share this video so that others know that their wholeness continues. And then visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org There you have an opportunity to sow into this ministry if this ministry has been a blessing to you. Come on, let's do it. Let's close it out how we always do. Say, God wants me whole and I am getting whole by the minute. I love you guys a bunch and I will see you right here tomorrow 
morning at 7.30 a.m. Go out there and be unstoppable. Go out there and let the world know that your wholeness continues. Go out there and let the world know that you are operating in the sufficiency of Christ, which means you can do all things. Go get your wholeness and then continue on in it. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 7.30. Love you a bunch.